donkey of the day. That's pretty fun. Charlemagne the devil? Possibly. <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Yeah, it's donkey today for Thursday, September 8th goes to John Tortorella. I think I landed that. I landed that. Simone Ballas with the land to finish. It's Biles. I didn't even get her name right. Jesus Christ. This guy's crazy. Lord have mercy. (laughs) Now, he is the coach of a Team USA for the upcoming World Cup of Hockey, okay? He's one of the latest people to speak up in regards to Colin Kaepernick taking a stand by refusing to stand for the national anthem. Now, John Tortorella was asked what would happen if one of his players didn't stand for the national anthem. Let's hear what he told ESPN. If one of your players sat during the national anthem, what would you do? If I was ever involved in a situation where someone is trying to make a point and they had the perfect right to do that, but to disrespect our flag and anthem, as I said yesterday, they they would not play. And uh, if that ever happened, yeah, there's no question. It's just not right. And it's not black, white, blue, red. It has nothing to do with the politics of all this. It's just not right. This is our country. Our people are fighting for our country, our flag and our anthem. That shouldn't come into this equation at all. There are other ways of doing things. Okay, once again, another individual using the military as the reason why you shouldn't sit for the flag. And once again, I will repeat, if America loves this military so much and loves those that serve so much, why are there any homeless veterans? Why are veterans that have fought and served this country standing on the corner begging for change? Why do they get substandard health care? Why do a lot of VA hospitals suck? If you served this country, went to war for this country, you should get free room and board for the rest of your life. You shouldn't have to pay taxes. You should be straight for life, but you're not. You know why? Because people don't care about veterans the way they act like they care about veterans. Now, the reason John is getting donkey today is not because he disagrees with Collins' protest. That's fine. He has the right to do that. That's what protests are. Some people agree. Some people don't. reason John Tortorella is getting donkey is because you can't say You're not criticizing anybody for stepping up and putting their thoughts out there about things. You can't say you agree with people's right to protest, but then punish people for protesting. You not letting them play for not standing for the anthem is criticizing them. And that's not American, sir. And furthermore, John, you wouldn't say that if you were coaching the U.S. Olympic basketball team. You will try that with the hockey team because you know it's no minorities on the U.S. hockey team. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I doubt it. Okay, you know who to try, John Tortorella. We all have free speech. We all have the right to protest, and we shouldn't be punished for it. Don't act like you're so patriotic, but you aren't respecting people's civil liberties and constitutional rights because that is completely un-American. Please give John Tortorella the biggest he huh? And he has a son that's deployed in Afghanistan for the third time as a member of the U.S. Army Special Forces. Let's see how America treats him when he comes home. Let's see if America will care about him 10 10 or 20 years from now. Okay, but in light of history and veterans, I see homeless begging for change on street corners in America. I doubt it. If you're poor and disenfranchised and you go into the military uh, looking not to be poor and disenfranchised, it's a good chance you're going to go over there, fight, come back home, and still be poor and disenfranchised, and America won't give a damn about it. Right. All right. Well, thank you for that donkey of the day. day. When we come back, ask ye. 800-585-1051. If you need some advice, you're having some problems in your relationship, and you need another person's opinion, call ye right now. 800-585-1051. She'll put you live on the air. Call her right now. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.